Um, I will give a short overview of the Russian media, of the Russian media market, and uh, what we are and what Russian media could be interested in in Finland, as far as I understand. <coughs> so, uh, uh, first I will speak about Slon. Slon is a quite new media which is um, uh, five years old. It is, um, it's been uh, launched by a so-called uh, venture project, a venture media project by ex-investment banker with who, whose name is Alexander Vinakurov. He, uh, we also have a <coughs> TV station which you might heard of, which is called Dost, which is um, um, a broadcasting uh, TV cable station. <coughs> and we have a magazine which is called um, which is uh, which is printed media, writes uh, uh, which uh, writes about uh, the city of Moscow and their inhabitants. So Sloan is um, is mostly it's only internet media. It's uh, 200 uh, users who uh, readers who readers per day, and uh, we write about economic, entrepreneurship, business, and politics. Uh, we are uh, maybe not the biggest, but we are very uh, well. People know us and read us pretty a lot. We rely on opinions a lot. We write. Um, uh, we are not state-owned company, as I said. So we are uh, kind of free to write whatever we want to. Uh, what? Um, now I will speak shor shortly about the Russian media market, which is. Um, uh, I would say that it's in a very turbulent times right now. Uh, the, uh, the state of Russia is interfering uh, into the media market a lot to make it more uh, not like um, independent media market but more of a propaganda and this is a very bad news for us but that's how it works uh, right now so we're trying to somehow struggle with that but that's not very uh, easy to do <coughs> but um, uh, uh, adding to what uh, the previous speaker said, I want to uh, start from uh, a short view of what is Russia. You probably all know it's a very big country. It's uh, 150, inhabitants, uh, 150 million inhabitants and very big. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to uh, remind you of, or, or tell you about one theory what, which is, was invented, not invented, but put into the uh, science uh, academic sphere by Natalia Zubarevich, who is a professor of uh, Moscow State University. She has a theory that actually there is not one Russia, there is four Russias. And they're so much different between each other. The, um, and uh, the Russia one is actually the Russia of two big cities, which is Moscow and St. Petersburg. They, um, it is very different from other uh, Russias because uh, they don't rely on the state. They mostly travel a lot. The people who are inhabited in those cities, uh, they consume a lot. They, uh, they're educated and they're... Um, <coughs> And they they consume media a lot. They uh, they uh, and they're liberal and Western oriented mostly. Uh, there is another Russia, which is Russia of um, cities which is in, uh, who, which are inhabited by one million people, so called. Uh, they are probably also uh, don't rely on the state, uh, and we put um, the cities as uh, Yekaterinburg, Novosibirsk, uh, Krasnodar, Omsk. And, and others. They don't rely on a state, but uh, uh, they're so far from Europe, so far from the big cities, that they have their own culture inside the cities. And they're more regional. And they're very different in terms of mentality and in terms of their business um, atmosphere inside those regions. And they're very different. I don't know much about Vladivostok, which is somewhere in China. Uh, uh, as you don't. I mean, I don't know what is, uh, what to say about Vladivostok. <coughs> it's like another country. And there is another, uh, and uh, it's Russia 3 and Russia 4. It's actually either small cities or the, um, or the countryside. The people uh, don't really have businesses there. Uh, the people are not educated and they don't, uh, they're, uh, 
social mobility and geographical mobility is very low. So, th so they stick to the place, they don't consume much, and they, uh, in terms of media, they totally rely on the uh, state, uh, I wouldn't say media, I would say propaganda. So it's like a, a different world. And uh, you have to understand that, because when you uh, rely or, or when you address to Russia, you have to understand who you're talking to. If you, uh, if you, if you have uh, a business oriented uh, for the, um, which is, uh, which you, uh, for the Russia one, you have to uh, choose the certain media channels. Uh, and uh, as uh, previous speaker said, there are such. Uh, we, call, uh, we call them equality newspapers, or the quality TV radio stations, or the quality internet media channels. If, uh, if you have uh, the Russia 3 and Russia 4, uh, there are also such channels, but they're very different from the Russia uh, uh, 1 and 2. Uh, it doesn't mean that Russia 3 and 4 doesn't consume. It doesn't mean that you can't do business with them. It means you have to put another message, and, it's, and it has to be different from a message uh, from Russia 1 and 2. Uh, so a quick overlook of uh, uh, media in Russia, which I would say, uh, I just give some names to you if that's, uh, if that's important, which are quality medias. Um, in the print media, there are certain newspapers as Kommersant, Viedemisti, and from a magazine, I would say Forbes magazine. Um, they are pretty independent. They are, um, they, uh, you can, um, believe that the journalists don't uh, uh, write, uh, will make a good article and they will write it the truth and they will not ever ever in their lives take money for that uh, because they uh, that still happens in other medias which uh, then uh, in uh, you have TV and radio stations which I would say uh, nice and cool which are uh, business FM uh, echo uh, Moscow which is echo MSK Kamersant FM, and uh, it w uh, I'm from TV, it was Dost, our media channel, but I guess it's going to close up because uh, they cut out all the, uh, the state cut it, cut all broadcasting uh, network for the Dost. That's a big pity, but well, okay. And <coughs> there's a lot of new medias, as Sloan, who writes about small and big business, uh, who writes, uh, which writes about the entrepreneurship about the tech, about the innovations, about the uh, marketing, about uh, the businesses which are interested, about the stories of business and story of success. And you can always find those, uh, always find those people uh, who are interested in, uh, in Finland also. <coughs> and of course there's uh, news wires as Interfax, Reuters, Prime and R RBC. Uh, they just give flash notes uh, to other medias, and you also want to tell them the inform. You also want to give them some information, but it's on only news, uh, like short, short news. You know, like Reuters. That's what they do. And of course, there's a regional media. As uh, for Finland, it's very important. Probably the newspaper Dilavo i Petersburg, which is called Business. Uh, uh, St. Petersburg, it's, uh, it's a Swedish-owned uh, newspaper from Dagens Industry. Uh, Dagens Industry, I don't remember if you have uh, uh, the Dagens Industry newspaper in Finland, but I think I do. Uh, they're pretty, uh, they write a lot about business, and uh, they do it pretty okay. I used to work at that newspaper, it's not bad uh, still. You always uh, should communicate with them. Um, and uh, uh, in Mo Moscow is pretty different because uh, uh, it's so big it's like uh, something like 15 million people inhabited so uh, uh, the the federal news and the the, uh, the the news of Moscow itself are kind of mixed up and uh, uh, even journalists usually cannot separate them so um, people in Moscow usually interested in uh, very big occasions very big news so uh, if you want to sell your story to the audience, you have to find uh, certain journalists who are interested in your topic. And uh, the, um, the, the, the magazine or the, the newswire, which is interested in uh, exactly 
in that business you're doing. If it is like energy business, there are sites who do um, uh, news and stories about energy. If it is technology sites, there are such sites. If just uh, marketing and entrepreneurships, there are such sites. You just have to um, uh, look for them or ask somebody to find them. Well, and uh, I also believe that um, social media marketing is very important in Russia also because uh, people do spend a lot of time in uh, um, social networks as Facebook and the local next uh, network, which is called Vkontakte. Russia is the only country where fa uh, Facebook uh, is not that big as a local uh, <coughs> network. But uh, Vkontakte is also experiencing problems because the, uh, the owner, whose name is Pavel Durov, he's, he's 20, uh, 29 years old, actually. Um, he's being so how prosecuted by the state. Not very good news for him, too. <coughs> Then what else we have? For, um, i give you an example of what we did at Sloan about Finland. Uh, we, uh, we had a guy uh, who is, he, 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 he uh, lives in Lithuania, but he came to Finland to find uh, interesting uh, startups in Finland. And, he, and he, uh, he made a story about the innovative business in Finland. Uh, there were like several companies where what, what he wrote it about, it was uh, about, of course, high-tech companies about like Rovio or Super, Supercell. But then he moved uh, to other cities and invented that it's not only about coding in this world. Uh, he found like uh, Zen Robotics, a garbage sorting company, which is pretty interesting and looks nice. He found uh, <coughs> A windmill startup, which is called Mervento, something like that. He found a WeTech uh, company, which is uh, ship fuel um, refillment, and uh, uh, that was interesting. A Quarkin food, maybe you know, it's a fish chips, uh, it's just fish. Uh, it's a it's a food company, and um, uh, 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 oh yeah, okay, two two minutes, <laughs> and ETAG, which is. Uh, uh, something like innovation tools of uh, electronic, uh, electronic, electronic tagging. Well, um, so um, in the end, I would say that you have to give your, your stories uh, to certain people. You have to find them. Um, you, uh, uh, there, there, there are people who are interested in the Finnish business, in uh, marketing, in the uh, stories of success, in the innovation companies, and uh, uh, why it is different from Russia, and how could uh, different business from like Finland do business in Russia? Uh, you just have to find the right people. Uh, that's, I, I guess, like a short overview. If you have any questions, you can answer them now, or I guess later, as the Okay, please.